dear brothers recently i spent quite a lot of the day for 5 days in msfs minayalaya doing some correction work and translation work i was really consoled to see a number of my students doing very good work there i did not teach them in st peters i taught in tejas their college of theology there is one short priest by name jijo he is doing studies outside every day he sends me the homily of the weekday including also sundays i told him your sermons are really very good in front of my guest he f- made me feel honored and told me father everything i got from you i should not take it very seriously i taught only canon law but within 2 years what beautiful reflections short sentences daily i get it from him another student from sivaganga diocese but belonging to this province selen he is studying german and he was practicing his german with me and i said you are really lucky man since i gave you good marks within 2 years you are sent to germany for higher studies he told me at least father i was very much inspired by you he told me then okay so i asked about one sujit who was my student who was very much interested in communication ordained some 6 7 years ago only he told me father you know where he is he is the dean of studies in the communication college in niskat he was really consoled encouraged even though i taught them limited hours for some time at least i was in a little way part of their growth part of their growth you know exams are over some professors listen to all that you said during the oral examinations some others may be going through the martyrdom of reading what you are trying to express in the answer papers some of them would have got consolation others would have got growth in their humility and patience by reading your exams your examination papers we want our efforts to produce the necessary fruit that's what we read in we listen to in today's first reading a song a love song to the vineyard i did everything for you but it when, when it comes to fruit miserable disappointing this passage full of divine inspiration some human inspiration isaiah speaks of the people of god how they are not being fruitful grieves the heart of god grieves the heart of god i am waiting for fruit i did all my homework good land good friends and manure everything but then when it comes to fruit it is miserable i say i is called by the italians he is uh, the dante of literature biblical literature such a poet especially in this passage in this love song throughout the bible we see the same thing also already in the very first book genesis 6 chapter 6th verse after seeing what the mankind is doing the lord is telling nisan 
I am sorry that I made mankind on earth. I am sorry that I made mankind on earth. Then we hear about Saul in 1st Samuel 15th chapter 10th verse. I am sorry that I made Saul king of Israel because he did not obey the commandment of the Lord. He was not at all obedient. I am sorry. Why at all I chose him? While choosing it was said, he was very very handsome, taller than all the others. Very able, attractive, charming. But then once he did not obey, God says of him, I am sorry that I have chosen Saul as the king of Israel. And you know in 2 Samuel 12th chapter, the famous passage of encounter between Nathan and David. God says to David through Nathan, you know, I made you king of Israel. I preserved you from the wrath of Saul. I gave everything to you. If you had asked me a little more, I would have given you. Why did you commit this crime? Adultery and murder. Again, something God is grieved when people do not live up to the expectation. When people are not worthy of the stewardship entrusted to them. And another song we, read, we sing especially during the Holy Week. Prophet Micah, 6th chapter, 3rd verse. Oh my people, what harm did I do to you? I brought you out of slavery in Egypt. I gave you victory over so many kings. Oh my people, what harm did I do to you? Sometimes your own professor's expectations are too high, you may think, after having taught you so many hours. I teach general norms, I used to repeat, alone for the first year MCL students, 105 hours every year. Only for first year MCL alone, 105 hours, 7 credits. Having listened to me for 105 hours, then afterwards, when they do not have clarity with regard to certain concepts, I used to say, Maya Kulpa, Maya Kulpa, Maya Maxima Kulpa. That's what I should say. It is reasonable to accept, expect certain clarity from them. Sometimes some of the bishops also ask the staff members, What training, Father, you are all giving seven years? After coming to the field of the ministry, some of them are looking like devils. So what happened? As a mother told somebody else, I sent an angel to the seminary. A devil has come from the seminary. Expectations in rare cases, I always say, we should not generalize. Some rare seminarians uh, prove uh, uh, not so fruitful. Maybe we cannot generalize this concept. We get so much, how much we give in return. That is the question. Today is a challenge for us. Coming to today's gospel also. Same passage, but only this here. The landowner and the wicked tenants. The landowner did his homework. We are told that the land was very fertile. There was fence to the land. There was a watch tower. There was wine press. And he did not give it to them for one year, for a longer time. But when the landowner sends his servants for fruits, see the hostile reaction, unimaginable reaction, beating them, killing them. It is strange the landowner is very tolerant and then so indulgent in sending his son also to them to be allowed to be killed by them. 
think of our own facilities in the seminary. We have to give fruits for the room in which we are living, individual rooms we are living in this city. You ask people outside how much they have to pay for it. We have to give account to God for the library we have. We have to give account to God for all the food that we are eating. Even if at times they may not be as tasty as we might expect or as uh, large as some may expect. We have to give account to God everything. This is the wine press. This is the watch tower for every one of it. And we have to give account to God for all the seven years you are spending in this place of grace. In this place of formation. In this place of formation. Time lost is life lost. Recently I was preaching in Gudadalli, St. Anthony's Parish. Nine years St. Anthony spent in Coimbra. I told the philosophers also once, nine years. He wanted to be away from Lisbon because often getting visitors, visitors, visitors. Already those days. Now some brothers are very particular in getting as many visitors as possible. Already St. Anthony was visited by his relatives. So he wanted to go to a place which was 195 kilometers away in order to devote himself to prayer and to study. To the extent, one of the popes said, if the manuscripts of the Bible were to be destroyed, St. Anthony will write from memory the whole Bible. St. Anthony will write the Bible from his memory, he said. Those days, printing press was not a discovered, was not a discovered. Such was his knowledge, such was his commitment, such was his commitment. Same thing, all these things are given to us, given to us. And what is the fruit that we are going to bear? Not only in study. Study is only part of it. Sometimes if you don't have morality, there is no difference between the intelligent seminarians, intelligent priests and the devil. We can be devils by knowing also. In every way, growing in knowledge, growing in wisdom, growing in humility, growing in prayer. Today's second reading speaks of it. Paul says, you should not be burdened by the worries. At the same time, you should not be pseudo-optimist by nothing to worry. When he was in prison, Paul was writing maybe short, short passages and somebody might have put them all together also. Entrust everything in prayer. In all these areas, holistic formation, holistic growth. And let us be faithful to God with regard to our election, with regard to our minister.